on behalf of the President of the United States, the United States Army, and a grateful nation. Please accept this flag as a symbol of our appreciation for your loved one's honorable and faithful service. Please accept these spent shells as a reminder of the honors bestowed on your loved one today. We are honored to honor you. You're welcome. Send the military portion of the service. Death is nothing at all. I've only slipped away to the next room. I am, I, and you are you. Whatever we were to each other, we still are. Call me by my old familiar name. Speak to me in an easy way which you always use. Put no difference in your tone. Wear no force air of sadness. Laugh if we always laugh at the little jokes we enjoyed together. Play, smile, think of me. Pray for me, that my name forever be a household word that it always was. Let it be spoken without effect, without trace of a shadow on it. Life means all that it ever meant before. It's the same as it ever was. There's absolutely no unbroken continuity. Why should I be out of mind because I'm out of sight? Nothing is past. Nothing is lost. One brief moment and we will all be as it was before. Happier and forever, we will be one together with Christ. That's right. Reading from the book of Revelations. And I heard a great voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling of God is with man, and he will dwell with man, and he shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them. He will wipe away every tear from every eye, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Also he said, Write these words, because they are trustworthy and true. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the first I give water without price from the fountain of the water of life. Who conquers shall have this heritage, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. I believe that when a child of God leaves this earth, several things happen. Exodus chapter 23, verse 20, and Luke chapter 16, verse 22 tells us that angels usher us into the presence of God. Second Corinthians tells us that we are immediately entered God's presence. When this happens, God says, welcome, my good and faithful servant. And we're sure that that is what Don heard. Mm -hmm. In closing, reading the 23rd Psalms, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He guides me the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Let us pray the commitment prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you this day for your precious, eternal, and unchanging love. We thank you that you are to us 
to walk with angels. And I am the great I am. In the midst of our natural sorrow, we thank you for your supernatural comfort and grace. In the face of death, we thank you for your gift of eternal life. In the face of separation, we thank you for the eternal reunion we eagerly anticipate. We thank you for Donald's life here on earth, and we recognize that the body that lies before us is not Donald, but rather the house in which he lived. We acknowledge that Donald is rejoicing even now in your presence, mm -hmm. enjoying the blessings of heaven for as much as pleases Almighty God to take him himself, the soul of our departed loved one. We bow Donald's body to this place prepared for it. That ashes may return to ashes, dust to dust, and the eternal spirit refined by fire may forever be with you, Lord. Father, we commit this body to the earth from which our bodies originally created, and we rejoice in the fact that his spirit is now with you, Father. We, appreci we appreciate the day when spirit and body will be united again in the coming of the Lord. We find great comfort in knowing that we shall forever be together with the Lord. We thank you, Father, that in the days, weeks, and months to come, these realities will abide the presence of your spirit, especially strengthen, sustain, and comfort Donald's friends and family. We pray that you place a hedge of protection around them and grant them peace and comfort in the coming days. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, let us conclude our services here at the Dayton National Cemetery. Thank you so much for coming out and showing your love and support.